This is the bottom of 5-7, and this would be a more advanced OG curve. Uh, rather than each radii being of equal length, uh, they're changing it up on you. And in this case, we're going to have uh, the lower point be 3 fifths of the distance of the straight line, and then the upper portion would be the remaining. Uh, so like what you see here, only mirrored. Now since I'm dealing with fifths, what I'll probably want to do is use that other method of dividing the line into any number of equal parts. So let me first start by drawing that line. And of course, I'm going to extend it beyond its uh, points S and I, just so I have some ex additional length to reference to with the triangle. This one's a little bit tricky. Oops. All right, well, there we go. We got a, a slightly longer line. And then recall what I need to do is uh, make a line perpendicular to that line. I'm trying to figure out where the best, you know, that might be the best down here to do that. And of course, I'm going to be drawing all over other stuff like the title block on this page and stuff like that. But that doesn't matter. It's all construction lines. So here I go. I'm going to draw a perpendicular line. And then I need to grab my compass and figure out what best fits this for five equal parts. I'm looking at the three-quarter scale right now. and You know, that's actually pretty, pretty nice. I'm not too far away of an angle. If I get this scale just right, yeah, something, yeah, hold on. Okay, that's pretty good right there. So I'm going to go ahead and mark those five divisions. Okay, and then I grab the triangle to draw those additional perpendicular lines so I know where they meet up on the uh, original line I drew. A lot of lines going on, right? Sometimes it's hard to make small adjustments with your triangle, right? for these two. You just got to take good care to do this right. Otherwise, you know, if these are off a little bit, the OG curve just doesn't come out right at all. So I have my five divisions. Uh, I do need to extend, um, let's see. Actually, I need to do a midpoint here, huh? Because this would be, right, this whole thing here is the three-fifths of the total length of the line, and this is only the two-fifths. So I already have the midpoint there, but now that I have the three-fifths portion, all right, I am going to bisect the three-fifths to find the center of it, because bisecting is pretty fast. Can you do that right? Yeah. Okay. So there is the center of the three-fifths part. Draw another line going there. And then now, like uh, the other OG curve, the last part is uh, drawing a line perpendicular from the original line. So let me come up uh, right about there. There's my intersection point for that one. And then I'll bring this one down. All right, so that and that are what I need, okay? 
And I take my compass and I'll adjust it for the first one here. Let's see how this goes. Make sure I have the slack out of my compass, of course. Yeah, there we go. And then when I move it to the upper point, which is right there, I do need to readjust the radius to match the upper portion. All right, so that's not perfect, but it's pretty good considering, you know, all the steps you have to take to get here. So what I might do is do a little freehand correction, take my eraser shield, maybe hide the evidence a little bit, you know. All right, so there you go. There's a, uh, a an OG curve going from three-fifths of the line segment to two-fifths of the line segment.